Hey everyone, Wet Movie One back here again for yet another unboxing video for you guys today. I have a handful of things to open, not a whole lot, but a good amount of things to open, some of which I purchased, some of which I got sent uh, from different you know studios or PR companies that send me uh, Blu-rays, 4Ks and stuff like that to showcase for videos and things. But uh, yeah, I have one, two, three, four, five packages. Uh, here to open today. So, uh, you know what? Let's start off with this little box right here. But before I open this one, uh, make sure you guys follow me on my uh, Instagram or TikTok, you know, wet, you know, wet movie underscore one uh, on those platforms, I believe they are, or just wet movie and stuff. If you guys want to follow me on those uh, social media platforms, please do. And also, give this video a thumbs up. I don't say that enough in the videos, but, you know, give the video a thumbs up if you guys enjoy. But I, like I said, let's open this one up. We'll find out when we open this bad boy right here. And this one is coming from Sony. Sony Home Entertainment. And uh, it is the Equalizer 3 here on Blu-ray, uh, which is coming out on Blu-ray and 4K November 14th in stores everywhere. So I'm sure it's out there right now. Uh, as you guys are watching this video right here, uh, the Equalizer movies. I have not yet seen the third one, but I heard from my buddy, of course, the OGP. He saw it and he thought it was cool from what I remember. And, uh, you know, it's Denzel. You can't go wrong with Denzel. But if you guys have uh, got it in the store already, let me know. If you guys already picked yourself up a copy, if you got the Blu-ray, the DVD, or the 4K, let me know. Uh, good old Denzel. Thank you, Sony. This one's coming from Lionsgate Home Entertainment, and it feels kind of heavy. It, it, it feels like a like a like a heavier a heavier movie. So let's find out what's in here. But how, how's your guys' week been going? Let me know. We got oh, we got the Expendables one through four collection uh, here. I believe is this Blu-ray. Yeah, Blu-ray Blu and 4K. Uh, the Blu-ray and yeah, Blu-ray 4K uh, collection of all four of the Expendables movies right here which I think is cool. I have yet to see the fourth one. The first two were pretty cool. Third one I don't really remember that much of to be honest but to get them all on one st you know one in one little collection pretty cool. Uh, I'm hoping the fourth one is pretty cool. I'm, ho I'm, I'm hoping. I'm hoping for the best on that one but uh, we shall see. Uh, there's no paperwork on that one but I believe that one is either out now or comes out in the next week or so uh, in stores everywhere if you guys want to get a copy of a uh, the Expendables collection here on 4K Blu-ray pack. I love me some steel books. I'm not the biggest collector of them anymore, but when they steel books first started coming out, I was all about it. You know what I mean? I was all about it. Like I'll have a have a, a whole bunch, like a box and a half or two boxes full or tubs full of um, uh, DVD steel books. Uh, Blu-ray ones not as much, but like when DVD ones were coming out, I was all about it. But this one right here. This is, uh, this is not what it says. It is a Funko Pop, but this one, it says Conor, Conor McGregor. And I'm not, I'm not a, a boxer guy or a fighter guy, so it's not a Conor McGregor thing. But there is a Funko Pop in here uh, that I got off the Whatnot app from uh, Creighton Johnson, who also goes as uh, Simply Bub, Simply Bub on eBay and, uh, and on Whatnot, if you guys go on the Whatnot app on your phone you guys you can like bid on like uh, Funko Pops autographs whatever and uh, this right here is something I, I got off I got off the whatnot app and it was a pretty damn decent pretty damn good decent deal and a good good job packing uh, right here I don't know why I'm starting to get into this Funko Pop stuff I, I, I've, I've been talk I talked about this for years I'm not the biggest Funko Pop guy whatsoever but when I can get some of them autographed, they're kind of cool and a little bit smaller than like, you know, mini posters and posters to put on the wall. So, uh, um, I got this uh, for a really, oh, it's in a box too. I got this uh, for a really good deal. Uh, a lot cheaper than it was when they originally did a pre-order uh, for it when they had a private signing with said person. I already have this person's autograph already on a mini poster. Uh, that um, Macaulay Culkin signed as well. My little um, Home Alone uh, mini poster I have that's signed by this person and Macaulay Culkin. Uh, but I got a Funko Pop here, a Home Alone Funko Pop of uh, 
signed by Daniel Stern with the Marv inscription right there uh, with the Beckett authentication and everything. I think it's kind of cool to have a, a Home Alone Funko Pop. Do I need this one? <laughs> really? No. But I, I do love me some Daniel Stern. I have his autograph three times uh, in my collection. This Funko Pop, uh, that mini poster of Home Alone I have, and uh, a Rookie of the Year uh, mini poster I have signed by him. So I think that I think this is kind of cool to add to the to the Funko Pop collection. Good old Daniel Stern. We have another package uh, right here. This is the second to last package we have. Uh, I believe this one's coming from Warner Brothers. Yep, coming from Warner Brothers Home Entertainment. This one's been here for about a week or so. Uh, this package right here. As of time I'm opening this. Oh, okay, the 4K of the Fugitive. Uh, I'm not, I'm not the biggest fan of this like hundred year series thing that's on the top of these, on on the top of these uh you know uh, releases. But it is what it is. But the Fugitive, of course, you know um, we got uh, Harrison Ford and uh, Tommy Lee Jones. Great movie, man. I remember I remember watching this for the first time on VHS. Uh, you know back back in the day, it'd be kind of cool to revi revisit this one. Haven't haven't seen it in forever. But uh, let's see what the date is on that. The cover the cover's kind of cool. Cover's kind of cool on that one. Uh, looking at the Warner Brothers paperwork I have right here, and it's coming out on a 4K on uh, November 21st. Uh, it should be there in stores and online if you guys want to get a physical copy uh, of the Fugitive right there from Warner Brothers Home Entertainment. Uh, came back, came out back in 1993. I think that's rad right there. I always love me some Fugitive. Uh, but I've got one last package left, guys. One last package left, which may lead. Which may lead into a future video uh, I might do uh, talking about something because there's a it's an envelope right here and it's coming another thing I got from the Whatnot app and I'm not gonna talk about the company I got it from because like I don't know why I keep getting stuff from them off the Whatnot app I don't know I have problems but I just I don't like their business practice but I'm still stupid enough to to bid on stuff and win things uh, from them because I'm dumb but. Um, Oh, they're both in the same top loader, so... Uh, the two autographed pictures. Uh, one of which is an old yeller. Uh, 8x10 right here. This is like a the picture from uh, like the DVD that came out from Disney back in the early 2000s. And it's signed by um, uh, Tommy, Tommy Kirk. I believe it is like the, the main kid uh, from, the, from the movie that... You know, was with all the old yeller and things. Uh, pretty, pretty, pretty damn cool. And like I said, I, I'm getting these like things super cheap on on the whatnot. I'm not like spending big bucks on these things whatsoever. But uh, we got, I believe his name is Tommy Kirk. But the other thing that may lead into another video I'm I, I'm gonna do or thinking about doing uh, is uh, the removal of autographs, the removal of personalizations. You know, personalizations if like a celebrity signs something and it puts like to Brendan or like, you know, to Eric or whatever your name is. I sometimes I hate I hate that when celebrities do that. There's collectors out there that love it and they think it's cool and like that's fine. And uh, I recently learned how to take off personalizations off of uh, items. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it off of this one, but I'm going to try because this one right here is a uh, I believe a 12 by 18 mini poster of Aladdin signed by Princess Jasmine the voice of Princess, Princess Jasmine and the voice of Aladdin uh, right here but the sad thing is this is personalized to Ben twice on here sometimes celebrities do that but maybe in a future video I'll show you guys how to remove personalizations off autographs you acquire. Uh, this one, of course, is uh, Beckett authenticated and everything. Love me some Aladdin, man. Grew, grew up on this one. Uh, sad to say, it's not signed, by, of course, by Robin Williams. That's th th those those kind of those autographs are hard to come by. Maybe in an upcoming video, if you guys let me know in the comments, I can like show people, you know, what I've learned from other autograph collectors on how to take off personalizations, especially if you got something like how I got this. My name is Brendan, not Ben. But, you know, I'm going to see if I can take off those personalizations and show you guys how I do it uh, in an upcoming video. Maybe, you know, if, if I get enough comments down below. But uh, that's everything I have to show and talk to you guys about today. I have issues. 
some stuff I don't know why I'm getting. Like, I already have autographs already from Daniel Stern. Why am I bidding on this? You know what I'm saying? Like, I have, I have problems. I have problems. <laughs> but guys, thank you so much for watching and supporting my videos. And I catch you guys on the next one. Please give this video a thumbs up. And ta-ta.